My name is Chad Barbang. I'm the Atomic Aquatic Southeast Sales Representative. Today I'd like to speak to you about a new exciting first time to the dive industry, Cobalt Dive Computer. This is a very unique computer in that there's a lot of features on here that have never been done before, which we're going to speak about in the next few minutes. Before we get into the inside of the computer, let's talk about some of the outside features. First, size-wise, it is about the size of a iPhone or a Blackberry uh, phone. You have four separate buttons that actually drive the functionality of the computer, and then you also have a quick disconnect. You simply unscrew the lock nut, and a simple up and turn will release it. To put it back on, we simply push back up, turn, pull down, and uh, tighten up the lock nut. We have the cobalt on a high pressure 4500 PSI Kevlar hose. Let's go inside the Atomic Aquatics Cobalt computer. To turn the computer on, all we do is hit the enter or select button and the computer will power up. Showing your battery status, your surface time, your no-fly time, your date and time, and then you have an easy selection of menu choices to go from. The simple thing to do would be to go into your pre-dive check mode, enter, and then that's going to give you a quick look at how the computer was set up. Then you can actually just hit ready to dive and then jump in the water and dive. Once you're in dive mode and you want to uh, activate the compass, all you do underwater would be hit the enter or select button and the compass will come up. It's a tilt compensating compass and if I want to set a bearing by hitting the enter button underwater, the select bearing sign will come up, say yes to it, and then the green dot here is my bearing course of 280 degrees. Now we're going to go down here to the settings button. Entering the setting button gives us a menu of choices here. Our first choice is to enter dive settings. Under dive settings, we're going to be able to set our risk level. Risk conservative, moderate, which is more conservative, and conservative being the most conservative. We can also set the exertion level. Is our dive going to be a light, fun dive, or a little bit more moderate work, or are we working heavy? Then we have several types of alarms. You have a low gas alarm for alert one and two. In the silent mode, the alarm is going to flash at you. In the on, you're going to have a verbal or an a audio alarm. And then you also have a safety reserve. When this reads zero, you would still have 300 PSI left in your tank. So this allows you to have a built-in reserve. So this counts down to zero, and whatever you set that reserve, that's what you'll have left in your tank as a safety. In the preferences menu, we can actually set our units. The personal information screen allows you to enter your name and your phone number and actually put your birth date in. Between your exertion level, your risk level, and your age will determine how the algorithm works the way you set the computer up for diving. The Cobalt computer will store 600 hours of dive time based upon a 30 second sampling rate. So by entering the dive log, it'll show us a, a selection of all of our dives. Entering the dive, will give you an overview of your last dive as far as start time, dive time, max depth, your mix. And then you can actually go here and view the profile and it'll actually show you the dive that you just did. 